the devil will have defeated the divine masculine and the divine feminine. And I'm going to walk away because this is pissing me off. My voice is shaky. I, I, when I get angry, I also want to cry. And this, this shit is really going to piss me off, y'all. Because how y'all going to go out like that? So y'all really going to let this karmic make an exit for y'all? Because that's what it's looking like. Clarify spirit. Four of swords, I'm telling you. Y'all going to let this karmic defeat you? Like they defeated your twin flame? Some of you, your birthday could be the 8th or the 18th or the 28th. This karmic is coming to attack you after they have siphoned your counterpart's energy. They're going to confront you in the spirit realm. This was their plan all along, and your person fell for the okie doke. This read is really throwing me off guard. It's really irritating me because ain't no way a Capricorn is going to let somebody do this. But the cards are showing that y'all are going to lose to this person if y'all don't, you know, step it up. I don't know how else to say it. Like, it's the truth. Eventually, this karmic is going to take action. You know, they are not going to be doing black magic and spells all their life. You know. Hello, Capricorn. How are you? Welcome back to the channel. Starts these out here. If you're new, make sure to subscribe and join the Soul Tribe. We have a read for you guys, okay? This is... Your bonus read, it is a general read, so take what resonates and leave what doesn't behind. Crosswashers, you are welcome. This message is also timeless. Personal reads are in the link tree link in the description box below. I want to thank everyone for all the support. And with all that out of the way, we're going to get started. Thank you so much, angels, ancestors, spirit guides, universe, galactic beings, ancient ancestors, elders, guide us in this read for my Capricorns. What messages do you have for us? Truly grateful for your divine guidance and celestial light. Capricorn, what do we have here in the read? We have number eight, the strength card. Leo energy, the sun. Then you have Taurus, the hierophant. Venus in transit. Then you have Venus in transit again. This is the Empress, Justice, and the hierophant, Taurus and Libra. What do we have at the bottom? Five of Wands. Two of Cups. Oh, I gotta be careful here. I keep forgetting that this deck has more, uh, more certain types of imagery. So, please excuse me if I end up having to cut off. Also, excuse my voice. My teeth are achy. I, you know, I've been needing to wear the retainer, and I've been wearing it. But you know how when you first put on bracers, braces, excuse me, or you put on a retainer and your teeth are achy and you can't fully bite down that's what's happening like my teeth are feeling better but it's just you know it's still kind of certain words come off a little funny when i speak um you know so do bear with me anyhow back to the read some of you your birthday could be the 8th or the 18th or the 28th knight of swords queen of wands eight of pentacles there's a couple here that is, I heard karmic couple, there's a, there's a karmic couple here, and they, they're fighting, they're really duking it out, um, can I get more information please, seven of swords, yeah, yeah, and the three of swords, y'all, I need to say something so specific that I heard, do not believe what people are posting online. Okay, those holiday photos specifically. Don't believe it. It's all hogwash. You know what hogwash is? Okay, it's the wash that you wash the hog with on the farm. You know, it's just some rainwater that's been sitting there for weeks because you know the hog is just going to roll all over the mud and whatnot after you wash it. So it's called hogwash. <laughs> I just made that up, honestly. It could be true. I don't even know. But to me, I feel like I just made that up. I have never looked up the real meaning of hogwash. But, you know, people are going to be posting photos like couples Thanksgiving and, you know, putting up the Christmas tree with Bay 
it's all fake. It's all like this is what this read is trying to say. It's all fake. Do not believe it because you know it can really hurt when we, you know, when we have somebody that we have a lot of deep feelings for and things that pan out for with, you know, us and that person, and it can really hurt to see. Uh, photos or to come across photos, you know, whether it's intentional or unintentional, um, of them with, you know, another person or even a third party type energy, and it looks like they are having fun, that they are living the life, that they are so so happy and so so in love. The Capricorn, the truth is, that whole relationship, whoever this is, that love is a battlefield. Okay, it is with the five of wands there and even even the seven of swords and the three of swords. There is so much manipulation, fighting, chaos and destruction and backstabbing in that connection. So your guys are saying don't believe the photos that you are seeing. Okay, don't believe those holiday photos that they are posting on the interwebs because it's all staged. It's all fake and the relationship is fake. Okay, they're both miserable and unhappy. And it's going to come to a end, it's looking like. It seems to me like somebody here is going to call the police on the other person. Knight of Swords, Queen of Wands. This Queen of Wands, Eight of Pentacles. It seems to me like this Queen of Wands, whoever they are, like they're about to make the great escape out of that situation for good. And, you know, if this is a marriage, this Queen of Wands is going to basically take all the money. If this is a marriage, these two are married, or they're engaged, or even if they're boyfriend, girlfriend, this, you know, or girlfriend, girlfriend, boyfriend, boyfriend, whatever the situation. Like, this Queen of Wands is going to find a way to run off with all the money. Or to cause as much financial destruction and disparity in whoever this person is. Who is this person's spirit? This, this individual that's going to go through this? Nine of Wands on the side. They've been fighting a really good fight to try to keep this connection alive. But it's just, it hasn't been successful. Okay, I gotta cut this part out. The hangman wanted to show up. What's the hangman? What's the hangman? Whoa. Wow. Six of Cuffs. This is past energy. There was so much potential between you and this person, Capricorn. The hangman and the six of cups, the hangman is ruled by Neptune. Neptune is the planet of dreams and, you know, our highest dreams, our highest imagination. With Neptune energy, there is no limitation to our dreams. And one of the highest dreams, fantasies even, of Neptune is true love. Finding true love, okay? Neptune sometimes can be referenced as the planet of soulmates. And now, it doesn't have the title, right? Venus is the planet of love. I just want to clarify that. But Neptune, because of its, you know, its ability to be able to dream without any type of limitation or hindrance. Lots of people dream about true love and having true love. Having, you know, that, that dream type love. Okay, this type of love. You see, these are two swans and swans. Most swans mate for life. So what happened here? It definitely feels like a divine counterpart type read. Clarify spirit. Two of swords. And the ten of wands with the palace of swords. This is somebody's DM or DF. And they had a choice. They had a choice to make. The Ten of Wands. They let the burdens of society interfere with their choice. Okay? They let the burdens of society... The, the way I did this, doesn't it look like he's taking it? Like, you know what I'm trying to say? Like, that's basically what happened here. Like, and, and for some of you, literally, like, you know, and I'm not even trying to be funny. But the limitations... Of society, this individual went with somebody else because that other person had an ace of fetic. That other person had the look, the part, okay? 
And as we all know by now, we cannot build a successful relationship based off of superficiality because it's never going to pan out or work. We are always going to feel, at the worst, empty in those types of connections. But this is a really bad connection because there is curse words and, you know, for some there is even physical altercations here between these two. This is somebody's DM and DF that made the wrong decision and got involved with the wrong person and tried to build some type of future with this person. Really tried to build with the Knight of Swords, Eight of Pentacles. Okay, really, you know, tried to, you know, lift off with that. But no sooner did it come crashing down. Page of Cups. I know this karmic isn't going to go message you telling you that they're sorry they took your person, but you can have them back now. Because that really would be the audacity. Four Pentacles. Clarify, Spirit. Queen of Cups. Clarify this Page of Cups, because this is just... Wow, the six of wands. Like, this karmic is really going to come message you telling you that, you know, I don't want your, your, your twin flame anymore. You can have them. Th thanks for letting me have them, but I don't want them anymore. You can have them back. I'm really getting this. And, like, this, this, whoever this is, this woman, this man, like, they, they feel like they are victorious, that they ruined this divine connection that they ruined your your twin flame your dm your dia and that they siphoned their divine energy all away oh my voice is shaking like i feel such a palace of wands oh no this 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 dm or df is on the brink of homelessness you need to watch the leo read that was posted Type Starcy's Eye Leo on the brink of homelessness and it will come up. Okay, type it. Cause this this is this karmic took your person who was a divine masculine or divine feminine, depending on your situation, and this karmic he she they them siphoned all of your person's divine energy. And this is why the karmic doesn't want your person anymore because they got what they wanted. They took all of your person's divinity. And this is why I felt like such a power, like a surge, almost like 10,000 volts, like just surging through me. Like, you know, like this is what this, this karmic is feeling high on power. This is what this karmic has always wanted. This is a succubi, incubi energy. And they have succeeded. So now you are going to have to... That's so, that's so stupid. Like... Because I'm really getting now that this karmic has this divine energy, he or she, like, they're going to get ready to confront you, to face off with you in the spiritual realm. It's unbelievable. Like, they basically sacrificed your person, siphoned all their energy, and now they're going to try to take you out in the spiritual realm. And the spirit is greater than the flesh. Without our spirit, we can do nothing. So they want to, they know this, and they want to launch the attack in the 4D, 5D. Sight, after they have siphoned your counterpart's energy. So there's about to be a duel here. Yep, Nine of Swords. They're going to attack you while you're asleep. Look, I cannot even make this up. The Four of Swords and the Nine of Swords. This Karmic is coming to attack you after they have siphoned your counterpart's energy. They're going to confront you in the spirit realm. This was their plan all along, and your person fell for the okie doke. What about what about Capricorn's DMDF? What's going to happen to them? King of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles. What's this? This is somebody else. That's somebody else. High Priestess, y'all y'all need to be careful. You need to be careful because another way that this karmic this karmic is trying to stage a, a new. Man or woman, okay, coming into your life. 
but it's all it's all staged okay look at this eight of swords do not be blind to your intuition this king of pentacles works with this queen of wands whoever they are whatever their gender okay whatever you know this king of pentacles they could be a Taurus or a Pisces, but they work with this Queen of Wands. These two are affiliated in some way, shape, or form. They could even be a part of some type of society, okay, with the High Priestess. Or they could even be in the same church. But they are acquainted with one another. And this karmic in the physical realm, they are going to send this King of Pentacles your way. To set something up here. I don't know what it is. I don't know what they're trying to set up or what they're trying to do. But the Eight of Swords is here over the High Priestess. You cannot ignore your intuition. Okay? If something feels off, you need to just block and not even engage in any way, shape, or form. Because I'm really getting like this King of Pentacles is going to try some foolishness. And it's per the instruction. So... This karmic is getting ready to prepare an exit for y'all. She's going to use this king of pentacles to sacrifice y'all in some way, shape, or form in the physical realm. And then in the spiritual realm, she's going to meet you on even terms because she has siphoned all the energy from your counterpart. And this is going to piss me the F off. Because Capricorn, I know Capricorn, I know y'all not going to go out sad. Now's the time for y'all to master your energy and be ready for anything because ain't no way y'all going to go out sad. No, absolutely not, Capricorn. Y'all y'all better represent. These messages, this message came up in the, a similar message came up in the Cancer and now the Aries read. The Cancer read that was done two or three weeks ago. Because it really feels like whoever this karmic is, they done sacrifice your counterpart. Now they're going to come in and sacrifice you. And some of you are not realizing just how close this karmic is to achieving their goal. Like they're, they're, they're going to steal the victory. Oh no, y'all y'all better call on your angels, your ancestors, call on every authority and principality. That you are acquainted with of the most high to destroy and to give you all the strength and power that you need to have an ultimate victory over this enemy because we can be in love and light but you know we are, we have to also face the reality we live in a world that there is light and there is darkness and we can sit back and say love and light and it will be over one day but the truth is it is going to be over with this karmic being victorious because love and light and peace and we can't have that and some people get mad you know there's certain light workers and whatnot they get mad when i speak about this but it's the truth it's the truth eventually this karmic is going to take action you know they are not going to be doing black magic and spells all their life you know setting up stuff for the new moon the full moon like going through all of that eventually they're going to make their next move to remove you for good and then they can have, you know, their victory, their peace, and they don't have to do no new moon, full moon ritual anymore. They don't have to no longer do voodoo and, and weird offerings and, you know, pay different psychics and whatnot to do black magic. You know, like the karmic is the karmic because they want you gone. And people get mad at me when I say this, but it's like they don't, you know, karmics are not our friends. This is all past life stuff. This is all past life. You know, you were on the opposing side, whether it was a war, whether it was a genocide, okay? Whatever it may have been. But you were on the opposing side, and yep, I'm going to get a YouTube comment notification. So y'all really going to let this karmic make an exit for y'all? Because that's what it's looking like. Clarify spirit. Four of swords, I'm telling you. Y'all gonna let this karmic defeat you? Like they defeated your twin flame? You might as well show up to this karmic's place and just let them, you know, do whatever they wish to do. 
because it's showing an eventual defeat. It's showing you in this Four of Swords. Bedridden. Defeated. Ten of Wands. Sick. Magician in reverse. Black magic. I'm telling you. So this is your sign. If you haven't been fighting back, it's time to fight back. It's time to do return to senders. It's time to call on God to destroy this man or woman because this, this individual will never cease. They will cease when you have been defeated. That's when they will cease. Please believe me. And I'm not even being dramatic. I'm not trying to be funny. This is not a soap opera channel. I don't know why people are saying that. I pick up on the messages that the cards say. If you think it's a soap opera, then you can go elsewhere. These are serious messages in regards to what is spiritually going on. And this karmic is about to have a victory. Is what it's looking like. Hey, of Pentacles. This karmic is working day and night. I'm telling y'all. Day and night. And the hangman with the Wheel of Fortune. To have an ultimate victory with the Wheel of Fortune and the Three of Cups. And the Ten of Pentacles. This karmic is... Preparing the exit. This karmic is planning day and night. Doing all types of black magic and curses. Five of Pentacles. And this King of Pentacles, they come with rotten energy. They come with rotten energy. If you can smell spiritual odor, you will smell the rotten flesh of this individual from a mile away. Do not be deceived. The spiritual odor that you are picking up from this King of Pentacles is 100% fact. It is a testament to who they are at their core, at their soul, which is a rotten, terrible person. Page of Wands. High Priestess. All they want to do is have you-know-what with you. And then I guess that's when they're going to do something. I don't know. This read is really throwing me off guard. It's really irritating me because... Ain't no way a Capricorn is going to let somebody do this. But the cards are showing that y'all are going to lose to this person if y'all don't, you know, step it up. I don't know how else to say it. Like, love and light, yes, but love and light with all the karmics gone, you know? The love and light does not extend out to the karmics who are possessed by demons. Jesus never extended love and light to Satan, the devil. I feel like a few Capricorns here already know what time it is and they have been fighting back. They have waging a war. They have been doing the work and waiting for this karmic to show up so that they can finally end this conflict once and for all because they know what time it is with this situation. But there are some Capricorns here that you think that if you turn a blind eye that this is going to go away. Love, I'm sorry. Love, I'm sorry. That's, that's not going to happen. That's not. This karmic is working day and night. Eight of Pentacles. Look at the spider webs here on the wall. Like the karmic doesn't even care if there's spider webs in their house. They don't even care. They are very much focused on having the victory. This lifetime. They defeated your divine masculine, your divine feminine. And if they continue at the rate that they're going, they are going to defeat the other counterpart, a.k.a. you. Clarify, spirit. Yep, the devil, I'm telling you. The devil will have defeated the divine masculine and the divine feminine. And I'm going to walk away because this is pissing me off. My voice is shaky. I, I When I get angry, I also want to cry. And this, this shit is really going to piss me off, y'all. Because how y'all going to go out like that? You better believe. You better believe what this weirdo is doing. Because they are doing it. Give me a final card for this devil. Three of swords. And the eight of swords. I'm done. I, I can't. 